Yeah. Well, one of the uh, Trump administration's biggest opponents has resigned as New York Attorney General. <laughs> Eric Schneiderman has been accused of violence against women and drug abuse. All rise, Judge Andrew Napolitano is here. Uh, Judge, obviously, he was a rising star in the Democratic Party. He had a big voice, a big megaphone, right. and he was a thorn in the side of President Trump. Yes, he was very much a thorn in the side of the president, uh, publicly and privately. Publicly leading the charge in litigation against the federal government. L litigation that can be taken up by whoever replaces him. Privately, it's very interesting. You know, I have to read a lot of stuff for this work here. And one of the things that I was reading, some of it is salacious, I have to tell you, is the uh, Peter Strzok, Lisa Page emails and text messages. And those text messages reflect a lot of meetings outside the Justice Department with members of the DOJ and the FBI and one state official, not federal, Eric Schneiderman, right. was present at a lot of those meetings. Speculation, it was sort of their insurance policy because Donald Trump can pardon anybody for a federal crime, but he can't pardon anybody for a state prosecution. I honestly believe that Attorney General, he's still the Attorney General to the end of the day, Schneiderman, was contemplating indicting either people around the president or the president, depending upon the outcome of the Mueller investigation, for violation of New York State financial laws, which have a low bar. They're a little bit easier to prove guilt than the, uh, than the federal statutes. Right. Now the question is, who replaces him and how does it happen? It's an odd system. He's popularly elected here, but yet he'll be replaced by a vote of the legislature. So some name will come up. Now, can you think of a prominent Democratic ex-federal uh, prosecutor thorn me, in the side of the president? Let me give you an who initial. Who lives in Freet, New York City. Freet uh, Bra. There you go. <laughs> okay. If the legislature of the state of New York picks him, A, he'll be a little bit of a thorn in the side of Governor Cuomo, but B, he'll be that uh, progressive attack dog that uh, Schneiderman was until yesterday. Speaking of attack dogs, I mean, Schneiderman was, uh, uh, you know, he, he was pretty significant in... in in that sort of Me Too movement. Yes, he was. And, uh, you know, and he laid it out there pretty thick and heavy. Um, I don't know about these allegations, but they must be profound because he went, he fell like that. So well, either this has been bubbling beneath the surface for a long time and we didn't know about it, or the evidence is overwhelming and he, he couldn't stop it. Well, we know that, the, ironically, President Trump put out an interesting tweet years ago that alluded to something was eventually going to happen to him, and he mentioned Anthony Weiner and others. But one of the things is uh, apparently Eric Schneiderman had a sure Lincoln girlfriend that he called, quote, his brown slave and wanted to refer to him as master. Uh. And, you know, it, it, in the course of drinking, would, would strike her, spit on her, choke her, things like that. And, and claim, this is a Harvard-educated Harvard woman, by and, the way. And claim that somehow that was consensual. Look, people may do odd things consensually, but nobody, the, the four women here, no one is saying that any of this was consensual. So the big picture here is who wanted him to go as quickly as possible? Not his opponents, but Democrats. They did not want this albatross around their neck. He resigned within two hours of Governor Cuomo saying you have to go. Well, he hit two women so hard they needed to see doctors. They yes. needed to get medical attention. Yeah, so how, how do you defend against yeah. that? There is no, there is no defense. Yeah. Uh, no defense That's what the report that. said, yeah. yeah. All right, Judge. But this may not necessarily be good news for the Trump people because he might be replaced by someone whose political uh, goals will be the same but whose personal behavior will be uh, acceptable. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, this is all, this, this particular office has been a political launching pad. Mm -hmm. Oh, know, I think so. he thought he was going to be governor. Sure. I mean, Elliot Spitzer was attorney general sure. before he was governor. Andy Cuomo was attorney general before he was governor. He thought that Andy Cuomo would resign, run for president, and he'd walk into yeah. the governorship. If the reports no he, are true, he's yeah. a monster. If the reports, if they seem yes. true and accurate, the, yeah. he's a monster. E Emac, it's hard to believe that they're not true uh, how because did he, of yes. a summary resignation like yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Thank you all very much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Judge.